Imagine having full access to your industrial scale from the operator station with minimal integration effort. Siemens electronic weighing modules plug directly into the IO rack of the control system, and there are add-on libraries available that allow full integration in just a few minutes. These add-on libraries have the function box and face plates for all of the scale functions, so the scale can be configured and calibrated from the safety of the control room. Load cell health and scale diagnostics are reported on the operator station, so if a problem were to develop, the operator is alerted and can take immediate action to ensure product quality is not affected. And weight measurements are reported on the high-speed bus between the I.O. rack and the control system CPU. For those applications where speed is critical, like check weighers or batching systems. Now Ethan's going to show us some of the functions that are available through these pre-built libraries. Thanks, John. So we're going to take a look at the runtime view of how we can interact with the weight module. So what we see here on the left is the block icon and on the right is the faceplate. And these are based off of the standard PCS7 APL library, the advanced process library. So we're going to have the same look and feel and functionality that we do with that standard library that's used in many projects. So how can we interact with the way module from the operating station? Well, we can see obviously the live um, value of the weight as it's changing. Um, and on this main view, we can see we have the ability to control from automatic mode or manual mode. Um, in automatic mode, you have the ability to drive some of the commands through the logic in your project. Um, but in manual mode, we're able to come in here and do all these modifications um, to the different parameters on the way module directly from our operator station. So we can see for scale commands, we can zero tear or delete that tear directly from this main view. Um, if we want to get additional parameters, we can come in here. And if we have permission, we are able to change the operation limits. And then in this calibration view, this is really where all of the parameters and settings for our, our load cells can be made. So we have the ability to turn on or off service mode here. And then all these um, parameters below are anything that you would typically do if you're connect directly connecting to that load cell, we can do it here from the operator station. So do we want to change the unit from pounds to kilograms or ounces? We can do that. We can change the parameters of our different uh, minimum and maximums on our ranges, on our resolution. Um, if we click this down arrow, we have additional views for our parameter settings. And on here, we're able to adjust the resolution of how we want it to show on our block icon. We can change our frequency. Our um, calibration can also be done directly from this faceplate view. So here we can set our calibration weights. We can start our calibration directly from here and run it all from the comfort of the operating room. Um, the last view here allows us to set up the number of support points, whether there's one, two, three, or um, up to eight different um, connections for the number of load cells on that card. Um, and then at any point, you can read in the parameters from the field. So if that device is pre-configured on delivery, you can read in all those parameters, make any modifications you have to, and then write the parameters directly back to that load cell. Um, the other thing that you get built in with um, the library that we're using for the WP321 is the integration of the alarming in PCS7. So here, um, if I trigger an alarm by disconnecting my load cell, I can see that I immediately get an alarm in my top banner in my um, block icon, as well as in my faceplate. So we're alerted at all levels of the diagnostic error. And then once I rectify it by fixing my connection, we can see that that error is going to clear within here. And then I can acknowledge that. And now my 
runtime is clear of errors, and then back to normal operation. Thank you, Ethan. And thanks everyone for viewing our video. If you'd like more information, feel free to reach out to us directly or visit one of our PCS7 websites.